thought I'd make a really funny video and this is all truthful So let's go ahead and rip some products to shreds the worst earplugs. I ever got these from CVS dual use earplugs. I'll show you why the problem with these earplugs is that They hurt the ear going in so if I wanted to put them in my ear check this out It's like you're drilling a screw into your if you have any any okay if you got any earwax in here it's gonna hurt on top of that you see this this is hard see that it's hard it's impossible absolutely impossible to sleep with these you sleep on your side ow it's pressing it into it um so don't get these if you need to sleep in them or if you have earwax i produce a lot of earwax in my ears the one thing I will give this credit for is it does when your ears are not clogged and you're not trying to sleep, it does reduce sound a lot. So in a way, maybe as much as I'm ripping this, this is kind of an endorsement. Look at this. It's like you have headphones on. Also, guys, aesthetically, this looks like Really bad. I was gonna curse, but I promised people I'd curse less and myself too. You, well, guys, this doesn't look good. So I guess if you wore, you could wear it like this because if they fall, yeah, um, these aren't gonna get you any chicks anytime soon. <laughs> but I mean, sound-wise, ah! sorry, that was too loud. But so, ugh, yeah, these are not good earplugs. So. Be wary. I got these, I think, in 2016, so I've been wanting to make this video. It's just been putting it off for so long, so apologize, guys. I haven't been putting much on this channel, but I have other bigger channels, as many of you know, so that's that. That's the first bad product. If you produce a lot of earwax or try to sleep, don't use these, okay? Second bad product. I got glasses. This crystal clear thing I got last year, dude, this thing can't clean the glasses. You spray it on the glasses, and you're wiping it, and, you know, before you spray anything on your glasses, you should run it under filtered water to get any of the stuff, the dirt, whatever, off it. So that way, when you're rubbing, you don't actually scratch it. But it's like I'm doing all that, and this cannot clean it. You clean it. You spray it on, you wipe it, and then there's still stuff on there. So I don't know what's wrong with this thing. So do not get this crystal clear thing. All right. So we talked about two accessories for the body. Let's talk about this one. These hand socks, I think I got them last year. Or maybe I got them in 2017. I honestly don't remember. But look at this. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's two holes in this. Yeah, you guys can see. There's two holes in this. Look at this. I believe it was the second wash, second wash in the, what is it, a washing machine, second wash in the washing machine, look at this, oh, second wash, man, these didn't hold up at all, so I'm going to throw these away now that I've talked some smack about them, seriously, Hanes, I thought Hanes were good, remember you see Hanes advertise their underwear, I thought they were good underwear, man, or, you know, so I thought their socks were good, but these were the worst socks I've ever gotten, so, Bad on you, Haynes. And finally, let's talk some smacking about food. I ate at Celito Lindo today. Celito Lindo? Yeah, Celito Lindo, it's called. And the food was bad. The burrito was so salty, and it fell apart. And this is in Olvera Street, supposed to be a historic Mexican area. I thought the burritos would be good. I'd rather have gotten a Chipotle burrito. My Chipotle burritos are awesome. So Celito Lindo, shame on you. Okay. If you guys like this type of video where I talk about the bad products I've tried, let me know. Talk to you guys soon, man.